Hey everyone, welcome, I am Mr. Bo, and in today's video we've got a few things to talk about. Firstly, we're going to be taking a look at some clips and some images of the new gameplay that has come out from PAX East. If you aren't aware, there is a build at PAX East where people are able to play on Papu's Pyramid, Sewer Speedway, Electron Avenue and Clockwork Wumper, so we're going to be having a look at that. But there's also some other information that's come out from various sources around the same time, which we'll be covering as well. So before I get into this, I'm going to be taking a look at some small clips as well as images grabbed from some of these videos. I will of course leave links to the full videos that you can go and check out for yourself down in the description below. But we're only going to be using 10 to 20 second clips and most of this stuff is going to be just images just because obviously this isn't my gameplay. So taking a look at some of this gameplay, the first thing you can notice is they have changed the player icons along the left hand side of the screen. Here is a comparison shot between the last build that we saw and the current build and as you can see they've just updated those sort of 3D models, they aren't 2D icons but to be honest these new 3D icons are a lot better than what we saw before and I'm happy if they just stick with these, I don't really see any problem. Yes they still don't match the weapons but I think they're fine and they're 100% better than what we had before. Now another change to the player icons which was a heavily requested thing at least over on the reddit page for Crash Bandicoot which was in the original is player icons needed to change when different players got hit by different items. So that is now a thing, if someone gets hit by a green potion their icon flashes green, if it's a TNT, red potion, bomb, whatever it might be their icon will flash with a red so you know when someone's actually been hit so that is a nice addition. It definitely seems like Beanots are listening to fan feedback. Another change is the Wumper Fruit on the top of the screen as well, that has been updated. In the previous build it looked a little bit dark and a little bit bland and just didn't really fit, but now they made it a lot brighter and it just works a lot better in the HUD. And they've also tweaked the bars down the bottom, they've just given them a little bit of an update. And in some of the gameplay we can actually see they've added a whole new bar for when you're drifting. So on this clip here you can see there's a bar that shows you when you want to boost for the maximum speed. In fact it even also comes with a boost counter, so boost counters are now confirmed. Obviously you don't have to have this view for your HUD, you can have the classic view of the map or you can even have the view of the speedometer which we've seen in previous gameplay as well. Now of course this is our first proper look at Papu's Pyramid as well as Sewer Speedway and well Papu's Pyramid just looks awesome, we have seen glimpses of it before so there's nothing really too new here. I think the biggest change is this shot here, so this is the ramp going down to the starting line and in the previous build or images that we'd seen there's a lot more foliage and a lot more stuff going on around the track, maybe a little bit distracting so it seems like they've cut that back and made you focus on where you actually need to drive. Moving over to Sewer Speedways, this track in the original was kind of, it was a bland track but it kind of worked because it was just a sewage pipe. Well in Nitro Fueled they have tried to do something with it and they've actually done quite a lot with it. So on the starting line on either side of the track you'll have pinstripes henchmen shooting and doing stuff which is really cool to see. You'll also see things like alligators coming out of pipes and other creatures from the N same trilogy who used to be in these sort of levels going around the sides of the track. You've got wires and things hanging around, the water looks really cool, in parts of the track even changes to like brickwork for the floor as well. So they've actually done quite a lot with this track seeing as how it was in the original so that's kind of cool to see as well. Now the gameplay we get of Clockwork Wumper and Electron Avenue look really cool as well. Now I will admit I haven't played Nitro Kart in quite some time, I had to look up a few videos of some of these tracks to familiarise myself with kind of the layout out of them. I kind of have a brief memory of playing some of these but they're not really grained into my mind like the original CTR tracks are so these seem very faithful. Of course they are going to be changing out parts of the track which used to have anti-gravity because anti-gravity is no longer in these Nitro Kart tracks and of course they are drastically overhauling some of the visual styles for tracks that were maybe too similar to some of the ones in Crash Team Racing because a lot of the tracks in Nitro Kart were kind of based on some of the tracks in Crash Team Racing. For instance in the original you've got Tiger Temple and in Nitro Kart well you've got Tiny Temple which kind of had the same kind of feel to it so I expect that kind of track to have a completely new look like we're seeing with Electron Avenue. Now the final thing to sort of mention from this gameplay is that we actually see Pinstripe, Papu, Ripperoo and Komodo Joe all are playable on the show floor. No gameplay from Oxide yet and no sign of Entropy, Penta or even Fake Crash though they are in the game don't worry. In most of this gameplay we get to see the characters in different carts, of course we've got the Team Crash, Team Cortex, we have the Team Oxide and then it's even called the Team Trance cart in Nitro Fueled. Does that hint that we're going to be seeing Entrance 
in nitro fueled i know there's been some speculation some articles that have mentioned that we're going to be seeing the nitro kart characters in nitro fueled but again there has been no official confirmation of that at this current time and of course when we do i'll be sure to update you guys and let you know the other thing is with these carts well the ai are in various different carts as well they're not always going to be in their standard carts you can change the color of them for instance we'll see polar in the team crash cart in his original cyan color we'll even see komodo joe in the team crash cart as well in a brown color and then i think there's some gameplay of tiny in the team cortex car but in his original green color as well so hopefully there's a lot of customization with the cars as well as character skins which we haven't really seen many of at the moment only those exclusive ps4 retro skins now of course there's a lot of gameplay that's come out over the last few days and there are a few things to note in some of the gameplay it feels like the controls are maybe a little bit more closer to the original than what we saw of the previous build it maybe seems that reserves are back again it's kind of hard to tell without actually playing it for yourself but in some of the gameplay that i've seen especially off screen footage where you're getting people who actually can drift around corners and keep their boost up it maybe seems like the reserve system is back but there's been no official confirmation on that currently it seems like the problem that we saw in the previous build where coming out of your third consecutive boost kind of makes your cart go off into the angle instead of straight forward which i know was throwing a lot of people off in the previous gameplay we'd seen so hopefully that gets tweaked a little bit more for the final release but to be honest everything i'm seeing is absolutely fine if the game launched as it was now i'd be happy to play it non-stop every time Time, I think I've seen the best thing from Nitro Fueled, Beanox goes and shows something else that gets me even more excited. So my impressions and thoughts on it at the moment are they are definitely doing justice with this remake. Now along with all that gameplay that's come out, there's also some other bits of information that is released alongside. Firstly, the Crash Team Racing Nitro Fueled Oxide Edition, which was previously only available as a digital exclusive, you couldn't get a physical copy, well it now seems you are able to get a physical copy. Amazon UK as well as game in the UK both have the Oxide Edition available for pre-order as a physical edition so that is good news myself I like to get physical editions of the game well I want to get the Oxide Edition because it's got some extra skins and stuff like that and I was kind of holding off hoping they would do a physical edition and well they have so I'm definitely going to be pre-ordering that as soon as I can now the next bit of information comes from a translated article as well as some various youtubers who have mentioned that there might be some sort of secondary mode coming to adventure mode in nitro fueled and in one of these translated articles it seems like adventure mode is going to be getting a classic version and then a nitro fueled version now the only differences that we know of at the moment according to this article well classic mode is classic mode it's just your normal adventure mode you pick a character and you play through. Whereas the Nitro Fueled version is, well, you can pick a character, but at any time throughout the adventure mode, you can change your cart, and I believe you can change your character as well. And we don't know if that Nitro Fueled version is gonna have, say, some of these Nitro cart tracks in it as well, but I don't believe this has actually been officially announced, so we'll have to wait a little bit until we get proper confirmation on the two different versions of adventure mode, if that is indeed something that is in the game. Now we also have some other information that is possibly coming out that we're going to be getting more tracks than we originally thought. So according to the YouTube channel Handsome Phantom, they said there are 37 tracks in Nitro Fueled. Well, that is more than what we thought would be in Nitro Fueled. Currently, we know there's going to be 31 tracks, the 18 original from CTR, and then of course the extra 13 from Nitro Kart. Now, we don't know if this information is just wrong, they just got it wrong by mistake, or if they have revealed something that hasn't actually been officially announced yet. We don't know, but for the moment, let's say we've only got 31 tracks, and if we get any more, then obviously that is going to be a big bonus. We know on PlayStation you're going to be getting 32 tracks because obviously there's that exclusive retro track which we still don't have any information about at the moment and then of course we've got battle mode which is also going to have its own separate tracks but I believe there's a lot more than an extra five so we'll have to wait and see on that. Now the final bit of information I wanted to cover is coming from the lead technical environment artist at Beanox who is Matthew Brulette. I think that's pronounced correctly and basically he tweeted this out love how some of my friends send me crash team racing nitro fueled screenshots asking did you see this and i'm like yeah and i tell them did you see oh no i can't three months to go 
So I think he's basically teasing that there's still more that we don't know about in Nitro Fueled. Obviously we still haven't seen Adventure Mode at all really, we don't know if there's going to be any new characters, and we don't know if there's going to be any original new racetracks. We are still two months away and I thought it was kind of weird that they revealed all this Nitro Kart stuff now, but it makes sense with PAX East. And a week before the launch of this game we have E3, now PlayStation aren't going to be at E3, but they might do another state of play in which they actually revealed all this Nitro Kart stuff, so we might get another announcement probably a week before Crash Team Racing Nitro Field goes live, but again we will just have to kind of wait and see on that. So let me know in the comments below what you think of all this brand new gameplay coming out from PAX East, does it get you even more excited, are there things that they've changed that you had complaints with before, let me know in the comments below. Again, to all the different little clips I've used and screenshots, I will leave links in the description below to the full video so you can go and check them out for yourself. If you guys enjoyed this video, feel free to give a like button a big old hug, subscribe for more gaming content and coverage, and if you're new around here, feel free to also boop that bell icon to be notified when my future videos go live. But apart from that, thanks for hanging out with me, and hopefully I'll catch you around. Bye bye.